Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 2. Today is episode number 66. If you guys do enjoy the content, then be sure to leave a like, as it really does help with the YouTube algorithm at the moment. Feel free to subscribe, drop a follow on Twitch, and hopefully you enjoy the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. Alright, what is up? We are now going to take part in the Suzuka Circuit Grand Prix. This is 30 laps of madness. Uh, we're taking the number two BMW M3 GTR for this one. Uh, hopefully it goes well. If not, I will cry. All right, this is it. 30 laps around Suzuka. Oh, look at that. O2, you got BBS, you got Puma. So many different sponsorships in this game. It's unreal. The truth ain't hard to find inside your mind if we are the problem and we all oppose. Beep beep motherfucker get out of the way. You're going to be playing Horizon 2 twice, Wolfie. Why? Uh, no, not yet. Oh yeah, because the game's copy and pasted, isn't it? Yeah, apparently the uh, Horizon, uh, Forza Horizon 2 on 360 actually uses the same engine as the old Horizon game, Horizon 1. So the actual driving physics are completely different to the Xbox One version. Which is crazy. Yeah, and it looks shit as well. And we all oppose inside your prison. This is going to be an hour long race. If you guys know what this song is from, what game this song is from, you are a legend. Up today. I'm going to have to uh, pause the game a sec. I'll be back in a mo. All right, here we go. We're carrying on. <clears throat> Two laps out of 30. I can't touch the WRC games until I'm done with Forza. It's pretty much the same as what I've done. I bought the WRC games, so when I do... Finish Forza. I'll be fine. Jesus Christ. I want to burp so bad. But it's like... You know when you get like a burp? And... It's one of those risky ones where you're like... If I burp too hard, I'm going to vomit. <laughs> yeah, I really don't want to be doing that today. Especially on stream. Mm-hmm. Meow. Bend it. But yeah, we'll, um... 
once we finish all the Forza games, WRC is on next on the list. So I have a plan. <laughs> Vomiting on racing BMW. Yes, not a good idea. Uh, so for context, for anyone watching on YouTube, I did have to go downstairs and eat half a tub of ice cream because otherwise it would be going to waste. So. Went and had about half a tub of ice cream and came back up. That video would not be a banger because I actually quite enjoy BMW racing cars. So... I wouldn't like the video, per se. Somebody would. A Ferrari fan might. <laughs> uh, BMW should totally come back to Formula 1. Yeah, no. I don't think that would be very satisfying. Tear the roof off the place. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> I ain't gonna take this no more. I wonder if Halls Horizon 1 can actually be emulated on PC. This endurance race is going to be hell. And that's why. This cars... The group 3 cars in this game and the racing cars are quite unstable. Similar to how they were in uh, Motorsport, uh, Motorsport 1. They definitely don't have the stability, so... Yeah, you can't emulate stuff on Xbox One, but... There is a way you can emulate 360 games and also um, PS3 games now. PS3 emulation's taken leaps and bounds over the past few years. Specifically the past year. It's been uh, substantially large, the uh, differences that, and like the upgrades that we've seen in terms of emulation. I am wanting at some point to upgrade to a 12 core CPU so I can use half of the CPU for emulation and then when it comes to like streaming and stuff like that, I then have the other half of that processor. Um, yeah, so your PC has to have a really good processor no matter how good your graphics card is. When it comes to emulation, it is all majority of the time through the CPU. Um, because it is emulated, so it is done through numbers. It can't work out what needs a graphics card to run and stuff like that, so. Play FH2 Storm Island in 2030. Woohoo! It does suck that... Out of the whole Forza franchise, there's three games that run at 30 frames a second. That are locked at 30 frames a second. And that's Motorsport 1, which is actually locked at 25. Um, and then... Horizon 1 and 2. They're locked at 30. Intel Core i5 10300H... 2.5 gigahertz. That's your problem. That's not a very powerful CPU for modern day standards, especially. 
So when it comes, even my CPU might struggle to emulate PS3 games. That's how lacking it is. And mine is a six core, uh, 4.2 gigahertz processor. Yours is obviously only a, I believe a 10, uh, not a 10 core, 10th gen, which I believe is a four core, 2.5 gigahertz. I can't remember though if it was the 10th gen or the 11th gen that upgraded i5s to 6 cores. I want to say it was 11th. <clears throat> PCSX2 is easy to emulate. That should be plenty for PCSX2. My PC's got no problem with it. PSP emulators, Dolphin, they're all fine. It's just because of the way that the PS3 architecture was. It is so complicated that it's, you need such a powerful CPU to understand it. And I think as well, it's also why the PS3 CPU was so much more powerful than the 360s. Just because the architecture was so complicated, you could never make the most out of it. So they just had to add power to make it run more efficiently. Honestly, when um, the designers for the PS3 were actually making the chip architecture for that, they must have been high on some shit. And more. Good idea, Jacob. Good idea. I swear you've already completed Driver San Fran like three times now. Fair enough. See, this is the thing, though. We're only just starting to get into, like, proper race vehicles. I think we've done three events before this that have had race cars. And we've got probably four more events that have race cars in. Maybe five. I think it's five more events that have race cars in. It definitely was lacking the amount of race car events in this game. There was more in Motorsport 1. I think Motorsport 3 fixes on that when it comes to the fact that they had, like, different championships for it. Especially Motorsport 4. I mean, there is... Like, 30 race car events. Yeah, it's taken a long time to do this one. This one's going to take... A pretty substantial amount of time. About an hour and a bit hour and a couple of minutes. Oh, I've accidentally just kicked my Xbox 360. That's not good. Yep. 
you haven't done this race on Forza Horizon 4. Because Suzuka Circuit's not in Horizon 4. I think I'm going to pit on lap 10 and lap 20. Yeah, I do. I got all the DLC except the rally one, so I need to find someone who's got the rally DLC that I can ask to borrow their account when it comes to playing Horizon. Warrior sound. Oh. We 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 we. Look how much tire wear has just been put on those tires in half a lap. They were barely yellow on the rear and the fronts were nothing. Now the fronts are somewhat yellowed. Ooh, that was not good. And the rears are pretty much going. I think it is going to be a two-stopper for this race. Yeah, it, as long as you do every race once, you should unlock them. With the warrior sound, ah! Oh. I'd highly recommend, though, uh, to keep an eye out for the end of this year because there is the potential that Forza Horizon 4 could be delisted at the end of this year. Uh, it may get delisted at the end of next year, but I know it's within the next year, Forza Horizon 4 will be completely gone. So uh, if you're planning on buying it, say, on Steam like I am, even though I already own it on Xbox, I want to buy it on Steam, so I have a Steam version. Keep an eye on those stores. Keep an eye on it going extremely on sale because it will be well worth picking up. Yeah, even if you have it on Xbox, I'm I'm still going to be buying it on Steam because I want it. I want a Steam version, and I don't want to lose my progress on Thingy. Does it have actual codes with it? Is it available? Hmm. Codes are assumed to be used. And new is Yeah, that's the problem I have. I need the codes and those ones. I'd have to get a brand new. Yeah, so it's £70, but that's £70 for the used ones. Which doesn't guarantee that the codes will work. Yeah, I assume that's what you got to do. Complete event. Yeah, these rear tires are shot. 
they're on their way out, as you can see. I showed you no respect. Not bad. I believe so. Did it, did it, did it. I was supposed to go into the pits and I forgot to go into the pits. Oh well, we'll go in this lap. Yeah, because these rear tires are gone. Here in the jungle, we're taking it over. I don't even think you have to complete them all. I think you just got to get up to level 20 to unlock the Goliath. It's level 10 road racing to get the Colossus. Level 20 to get the Goliath. Uh, and level 10 dirt racing to get the dirt racing one, which I think is a gauntlet. And the Titan to get that, you have to get level 10 in cross country. Yeah. By the time you've done them all, I believe you'll pretty much max it out anyways. Meow. I'm gonna put some chasing status on. Uh, for Horizon 4. Uh, I didn't actually write it down. Never mind. Bugger. We got a nice new, fresh set of tyres.
Too bad. 25 minutes into this race. Regional championships done. Nice one, man. Semi pro was an absolute pain in the ass. I'm gonna be totally honest. It was weird. It was like. I think semi pro was the one where it's horsepower limits, but it was like some of the cars were just. It was tough to find a good one for. What even is this song? Is it a tune? What's it called? Original business. Apparently is what it's called. Original business. We are officially ha- oh, no, never mind. It's 30, not 25. Every other race has been 25 laps, so I've sort of gotten into that habit. I was very much surprised when I saw 30, because I was like, wow. That's going to take forever. Yeah, because we haven't even done... Got to the 30 minutes. My maths would have been so off. Jacob, you've asked that three times already. We have responded with yes. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah. Uh, the blue ones are the road racing. Orange ones are dirt racing. Green ones are the cross country. Never gonna let you go. Never gonna let you down. There's no one around. 
I'm fading away. High off the ground. I'm fading away. Lost and not found. What a tune. I love this song. Hear me now. Yeah, an hour and five minutes this race is going to take. Kill me now. Lost and not found. Look how dirty the car is. That's the one thing I like about Motorsport 2 is the fact that you can see, like, dirt marks as the cars drive over tarmac because cars do get dirty even on tarmac. It's not just a dirt racing thing. So it's really cool to see that that actually exists in this game. Yeah, when it gets delisted, as long as you own it at that point, then you should be fine. If you've got it through Game Pass, you don't actually own it, so you will lose rights to that game. Um, but if you've actually bought the game as a straight-up purchase, yes, you will be able to play it once it gets delisted. It's like me with uh, Forza Horizon 3. It's actually completely delisted, but I can still install it on my uh, Xbox and my PC. So uh, as long as you've actually bought it, you should be fine. That's why a lot of the people, when um, Motorsport 7 got delisted, they didn't realize they had it via Game Pass and they didn't actually buy it. So when that got delisted and got taken off a of Game Pass, everyone lost access to it. Like, it was just gone. Can't believe it's been five years nearly since uh, Motorsport 7 came out.
Right, when we go to the pits next, I'm going to have to turn the light on quickly. Whew. Jesus. I'm fading away. Hey, 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 hey. High off the ground. Eh, 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 lost and not found. Away, you, you, uh, uh, high off the ground. Fading away, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, lost and not found. Warm, it's warm, it's really fucking warm. Nissan, get out of the way. Nissan, Nissan, out of the way. Nissan, get out of the way. Nissan, Nissan, out of the way. Nissan, get out of the way. Nissan, Nissan, out of the way. Nissan, get out of the way. Nissan, Nissan, out of the way. Ah. Woohoo. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely going to be a challenge um, for me to try and find. I'm hoping that there'll be someone nice enough out there that will be willing to share their Xbox account so that I can um, actually have a go at the Rally DLC um, to be able to play that, record some footage for it. It would be nice. Um, but at the same time, I don't know how difficult that would be. What happens if not, I just can't play the Rally DLC. It's the only one I'm missing, so hopefully it won't be too difficult to find someone or to find a key or something. Not bad.
It's no problem for me, but it's a problem for you. Ooh. Hey, hey. No problem for me, but it's a problem for you. So yeah, tomorrow is going to be some uh, WRC 10 content. We're going to stream some World Rally Championship 10 by KT Racing. Lovely game. Uh, and then the day after that, which will be Wednesday, will be our last Motorsport 2 stream. It's sad, I know. <clears throat> but all good things must come to an end. It's taken me about six weeks to finish this game. Um, I've enjoyed pretty much every minute of it, except for the times when the footage is either corrupted or been a pain in the ass to edit or stuff like that, but in general, it's been pretty enjoyable. I've had fun. Oh, I've forgotten the pit lane again. Shit. Um, for me, but it's a problem for you. It's too busy focusing. Too busy, busy Ford focusing. Haha, <laughs> funny joke. Problem for me. Not bad.
Oh, because I keep forgetting to go in the pits, that's why. Let's see. And now I don't have the patience. Bleeding heart won't make it. Right, there we go. Uh, I'm going to quickly turn the light on. I've got lights now. Woohoo! Yeah, lap 22. It's not bad. Yeah, that's personal preference, whether you want to buy the new Forza or not, to be honest. Now. Do you know what I find a lot of the time with modern games is games are designed and always have been designed to be played the way they were intended. So racing games have always been designed to be you know, racing around circuits, racing on tarmac, horizon, off-roading, you know, and for me, I play a lot of games as intended. So I don't go and look, explore outside of what boundaries are set, because that's where a lot of bugs are actually found. Like when you look at Cyberpunk, right, I didn't have a single bug in my Cyberpunk playthrough. But everyone that was finding bugs was finding these weird bugs from exploiting the game at some point or another. And I genuinely think people that find bugs just aren't playing games right. Like, I know that sounds weird. Like, a bug here and there is fine. Maybe a game-breaking bug is bad. But, like... Not once have I had a bug where the game's been unplayable. I think the most... Out of all the games in 2022 so far, the most inconveniencing bug I have seen uh, is... Um, Grid Legends, when it first came out, uh, the progression for the final chapter didn't save properly. And sometimes it would, you would lose your progression and you'd have to redo it. Sometimes it wouldn't lose it. That was the only genuine bug that was frustrating that I've ever had in the entire of this year. And I genuinely think people go out their way to find these bugs to then crap on the game. Like, they'll jump on top of random obstacles or stuff like that. And then all of a sudden, oh, look, they've been flung in the air. Ah, oh, this is a game-breaking bug. I hate this game. You see it a lot. That's why if ever a game is shown as buggy, I'll still buy it. And I will be the judge of whether it's buggy. And 99% of the time, the game isn't as bad as people make it out to be. Like, genuinely, I think people get a kick off of complaining about a video game nowadays. Like, and again, this ties into my conversation we had, I, whether it was last stream or the stream before, about how toxic the video game industry is. 
that people genuinely will just look and find any toxic way to complain about a game. And it'll be through bugs and stuff like that. Longest race I've done ever in a game is 17 hours online endurance. That's pretty impressive, I'll give you that. That is pretty impressive. F1 2021 on Monaco Circuit. How can you do 17 hours in that game? Ah, fair enough. That makes sense. Eh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> and welcome back. Welcome back to the chat, man. How you doing? Good to hear, Hans. Good to hear you're still doing all right. It is an M3 GTR from Need for Speed Most Wanted. Oh my god. Oh my god, it actually does look like the same thing. That is actually kind of crazy. Have you seen um, Black Panther? The YouTuber is actually trying to um, make his own M3 GTR. It's fucking crazy. I haven't watched the video, but I've seen the thumbnail. And the thumbnail, it already looks identical. It's just crazy that he's doing that. Incred, incred, incredible general. Incred, incred, incredible general. Ah, ah, ah. Have a lifetime free game pass. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Result, I guess. Sexy Fizika. If it was meant to run out yesterday and you still have access to it, more than likely it's in what's called a call off period. So normally a lot of companies, rather than, um, they will attempt to take payment for about three to seven days, every day for the next seven days. Um, and normally they'll allow you to stay access, to keep your access, um, and they'll just re-attempt to try and take that payment. If you've cancelled it, yeah, so if you've turned it off, you shouldn't have it. They should cancel it immediately. But normally a lot of companies, they'll have it so it it doesn't affect you too much. 
Because some people can miss a payment. They'll get paid the next day. They'll take it out the next day. You know, that, that's a normal thing. A lot of these companies are like, yeah, that happens a lot. Um, I would definitely double check your bank then. Just make sure they haven't taken a payment out. Because there is... I had uh, last month, I cancelled my Game Pass. Um, but it actually, the payments still went through. Um, so just double check that there hasn't been a payment go through. What's even worse is if an accidental payment does go through on Game Pass, you cannot refund it. There's no way to do it unless you do a chargeback. And I just could not be bothered to file a chargeback. That is strange. See what it, what it does tomorrow. Because if it's still working tomorrow, then yeah, that is definitely strange. More than likely, they might turn it off tomorrow. Just wait till the end of the day to turn it off. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, I, I know some people whose YouTube pr premium bugged out on their um thingy. Friend lately got 74 pounds off his account due to not paying attention to that. Yeah, there is the potential that they can do that because you have still been accessing it. Um, though it is a very sketchy thing. So if that does happen and you have told them to not take any payments out, you can go through your bank and get that money back because that would be fraudulent on Microsoft's part. Um... Ooh. Thank you very much, Hans. Thank you for the drink. <laughs> yes, the drink button is back. I was sorting out a lot of Twitch stuff last night, because why not? Oh, so if you paid for it through CD keys, that means there is no active subscription. It is based off of the time period that you had it active for. So once it runs out, it does take a couple of days to actually fully run out. That, more than likely, it will be gone within either tomorrow or the day after. After CD keys normally takes a bit of time for those ones to expire. Bollocks! Paying attention to my chat. No! Sipping my black and blue. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Boo -boo 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 -boo. I'm be sitting here, my black and blue. Ah! We've got about another three minutes, uh, four minutes left, so. Gonna be looking at an hour and four minutes, which is impressive.
You're all black and blue. Ooh, ooh. Never give up, uh, 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 uh. Black and blue, ooh, ooh. Give it all away, give it all away too easily. Crawling back to me. Oh, now it's gone up to 1H01 at the top. I don't like the fact that it's a lowercase h. I don't know why. I don't like the fact that it's lowercase. Good old drum and bass. Let me tell you what you gotta do. Take me away from here, yeah, yeah. Alright, we're getting to the end. We're almost there. FH4 is pretty good, but... Still need to work out a way to get that Rally DLC. Without costing me an arm and a leg. Uh, we're done. Unbelievable. One hour. That has taken. An hour and four minutes, I believe it was. Something like that. I forgot to get my thumbnail. Or save the replay. Great. Disappointed in myself, but I got a bonus 120 grand. And I got this. I'm not very excited about that one, I'll be honest. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.